Welcome back. It's Jesse Clark with Small Business Resources. Today we're going to do an Adobe After Effects conversion to an animated GIF for your website. So we're going to turn this into this. Okay, so we're going to start by going to up here to the top composition new composition we can just keep it at a 480 by 1270 since it's not going to be a very large uh, picture or gif on our website so right now i've got it as a black backdrop but during this process you can always come down here and you can make it transparent which we will do before we export so what we want to do is we want to create our text so I'm just going to go up here, grab the text tool, and I'm just going to write Jesse Clark. And we're going to make it real simple today. Small business resources. Okay, we have this. Now you want to put it, you can drag it out here and put it all on one line. Go back to your selection tool or V. I'm gonna go here over to set font size, bring it into our canvas. You can just simply go over here to align tool and you can click right align to your composition to your canvas here. So now that I have my text, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to effect perspective and I'm gonna choose this CC cylinder and you can see here that it already kind of curved it. What we're gonna do is look for the effects and then the CC cylinder, and then we're gonna look for rotation. So down here, you're gonna just play around with these. You can just drag left to right and just kind of see what they do in the project to see what you want to animate and what you would like to, um, to modify. So get this to kind of where you want it. And then what you're going to do is we're going to begin to animate and you can see that when we clicked on rotation Y, this is what is actually turning the text and making that um, animation like we want. So we're going to go over here and turn it on. And let's just go down here to like 15 seconds. And when our indicator is down here, we're going to start by here you can click how many rotations you want let's just say five then we can play it back to see what it will look like if that is too much go back down here click on the timeline maybe change this to three and you can see that will slow it down a little bit and if that looks like what you want then there you go okay so now that we have our rotating animation and we have it about 15 seconds you can see that our actual timeline goes all the way to 35 seconds. So I want to just trim that. So what I'm going to do is just go all the way to the end, bring this down to where I want it. And I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go trim comp to work area. And then what that's going to do is just get it to the time that we would like. Okay, so I think we are ready to do the final export as an animated GIF. So next thing you're going to do is I want you to go right in here down below the composition here and just do transparent. Okay. Make sure you've figured out the colors you want and you might need to do this a couple times just to play with it and get used to it. But once we're going to do this, we can't just file export. What we have to do is export to media encoder. So make sure that is installed on your computer. So what that's done is now in loaded into my media encoder. And it looks like <clears throat> mine was already animated GIF from before. So you're gonna just choose here animated GIF and then animated GIF with transparency match source or animated GIF match the source. So we'll just do it with transparency to make sure. And then this, you're gonna output file. I'm just gonna put like on my desktop and I'm just gonna call this YouTube test and I'm going to save that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click the play button, let that thing um, export over, 
or email or wherever else, social media, wherever else you want to put this animation. So you can see that it's not the same as the, what I have in here before. But what I'm going to do just to show you what I want it to look like, we're going to go up here, add row above. And then I'm going to go to widgets and I'm going to go to image. Then I'm going to simply going to upload the YouTube test here. And it should be um, the correct file. And there you have it. So it now should be, you can resize this. You can see that it should be transparent. I can go change the background color to whatever I want. And you can see that it is transparent. So there you ha have it, how to get uh, animated GIF from After Effects into um, any file, website, or use it how you wish. All right, this is Jesse Clark, Small Business Resources. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you do not miss my next video where we do software reviews, tips and tricks with Adobe, things like that. See you next time.